Long pass, touchdown for Bridges. He throws it down. But how about that? The team's best athlete, in my opinion, Dante DiVincenzo, throwing that ball length of the court for a touchdown. Boy, Bridges has done it all so far. Pascal going strong to the hoop. Great weight training program here. Here's Spellman from three, and he hits. Spellman. Nice pass for DiVincenzo. Thought he missed the moment, and he had it immediately. Here's Pascal, and score it, and the foul. Boy, everything going, going all the way. The way this one has gone, I think he'll gladly do a couple push-ups. <laughs> Steven Shinzo got a hand on that, and the lead from Brunson. And the easy lay-in at the other end. And Richie Riley calls for timeout. He has 10 points tonight. And some thunderous dunks, and here is the breakout by Steven Shinzo. How about that one? And he is fouled. And that has certainly gotten the crowd at Wells Fargo Center on their feet. Wow. The balance of the scoring, the balance of the block shots, the defense, spreading the ball around. Very impressive by Villanova, regardless of who they play tonight. I think they are showing right now really what this team can be and, and how they're going to be moving forward. Mikael Bridges leading the way with 23 for the Wildcats, and he had a terrific night. Just special, you know. The fact that he can knock down some threes consistently has always been a very, very good shooter. But he's turning into a prolific one. I know it's early, so people are going to say, let's wait and see. But I think this is what this kid can be, if not even better. Transition-wise, he gets out, he plays both ends of the floor, and he's a great teammate. You, know, you see him talking to guys, he's patting guys on the butt if they're not playing well, he's he's encouraging them. And again, he's another one of those holdovers that Jay, when you talk about the culture that they've created the last four or five years, he's another one of those guys that Jay is going to lean on to be able to kind of extend that to the younger players that are going to be a huge part of what he does this season. No seniors, but Bridges is a fourth year player yeah. in this program. And also tonight, a school record for blocks with 13. Yeah, defensively, the, the team right now seems to be turning into something that no one really expected outside of their team, and that is uh, defensive stalwarts. Now, we know Villanova has been the spread it out, shoot threes at times over the last four or five seasons, live by the three, die by the three. They don't seem to be that team, even though that they have the ability to beat you from outside. Defensively, they're showing that they understand that it's not just about scoring, it's about getting stops. Now, they hold a team that scored 111 points their last game to 77 in a blowout game. That's a hard thing to do. Stay focused on defense when you know you're getting up and down, and you mentioned it in the first half. The pace was 12 seconds per possession. That's a fast game, and Villanova never abandoned their defense. Just tremendous numbers there on, on Villanova's side. And the ball movement was terrific throughout the night. 58%, so many easy shots. We saw the dunks, but there were also so many easy, uncontested shots because of the ball movement. Yeah, another great number that we don't have up there, 28 assists. I mean, that, that is so impressive. 28 assists for the number five team in the country. That's the reason why they're ranked so high. They get it done in so many ways. Ranked fifth in the country this weekend with wins like that. They just may keep moving up. Yeah. I mean, J Jay Wright understands that there's some work to be done. You got to implement a couple of younger players. But I think they're on pace right now. They're on track to where he wants them to be. Play three days from now against Lafayette. Let's see if they can keep it going. Well, it helps to teach when you have a 113-77 win. Had a chance to get everyone involved. And the fifth-ranked Wildcats moved to 2-0 on the season.